<gülüyor> Şu süt çok oldu. <gülüyor> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know it's been a while, like a really long time. Um, today's video, and I do apologize, but life is just crazy right now. Today's video is just going to be a hopefully quick update on this little lady. Yeah. She is officially four months old. So, this is Quinn. Oh, she's very small. <laughs> and don't mind my orange hands. I self-tanned last night and clearly went a little too crazy on the, the hands. Hi, I love you. But yes, she officially had her four-month doctor's appointment and she turned four months on August 5th. And she is doing amazingly. She is like i said she's very petite um she weighed at her four month appointment she weighed 11 pounds three ounces so she's only in the third percentile for her weight but she is exclusively breastfed so the pediatrician said she wasn't concerned about it she's kind of been on the smaller side since she was born she was six pounds 15 ounces when she was born and at her four month like i said she was 11 pounds three ounces her length was 23 and three quarter inches long. So she's in the 20th percentile for her length. So she's kind of, I wouldn't say long, but she's on the longer side. She's long, longer and more lean. She has officially rolled from her back to her belly and her belly to her back. Um, I had actually filmed this once before and then literally like, I think that either that same day or like an hour later, she ended up just flipping and now she can do both sides. She's super interactive at this point. Um, she babbles, she coos. We ha still haven't consistently heard, my husband got her to giggle once and we haven't been able to get her to giggle since then. She loves her brother. She's obsessed with her brother. She's obsessed with her daddy, but I am definitely her person. If you can't tell, she's like attached to me at the hip. So yeah. She is just, she's such a little love. And I, obviously when we had our fifth child, I would have loved to have a girl, but if it were a boy, I, I wouldn't have been disappointed. Um, but having the experience of having a daughter, there's nothing like it. I am smitten with her. She's just perfect. She's the perfect addition to our family. She has completed our family, that's for sure. And yeah, she's, she's just doing awesome. What else can I tell you? She, all right, so for her milestones, I, I had a list and of course, hold on, let me go get it. <laughs> I apologize, I feel like we're filming in the most awkward location, but she is actually cooperating if I'm down low for some reason. If I was up high, she was like not having it. So we're doing it here and that's okay. <laughs> um, so let's see. She smiles all the time. All I basically have to say is I love you and she'll just light up like a Christmas tree. First thing I see in the morning is just this big, beautiful smile. Um, she's a super smiley, super happy baby though. And we are exclusively, we are still exclusively breastfeeding, which is super exciting. I think I'm gonna do a separate video on our breastfeeding journey, um, but to put it succinctly, I am extremely proud of us. Um, she's been if, an amazing breastfeeder since the minute she was born. She just latched right on, had no problems, and she nurses like a champ. If you can't tell, she's my only baby that's ever really sucked her thumb, but she's a thumb sucker. Not all the time because we do give her the pacifier, but she definitely likes to suck her thumb. I've already said that she loves her brothers and her daddy, but I'm still definitely her favorite. She exclusively breastfeeds. We did get the okay to start her on purees at the doctor's appointment, um, but I think that I'm going to do baby led weaning with her. So we might dabble a little bit in purees. Uh, maybe that will help her boost her weight a little bit. Not that I'm concerned or the pediatrician's concerned, but she just, she is very small. So, we might do purees, we might not, because I did purees with the boys and I just feel like I want to try baby led weaning. 
which I'll probably do another video on. There's just so much to talk about on that topic as well, but I just want the experience. I wanna see how that is with her. Um, I feel like it will help her hand-eye coordination and really just help her establish healthy eating habits. She'll be able to kind of tell me when she's full and instead of me sort of shoving food down her throat until I think she's done. So I think it's good and I think it will foster, um, not that my boys, my boys aren't, great eaters they've gone through periods where they liked a bunch of foods and now we're kind of like on the the path of they each like very set foods and they're set in their ways right now and honestly it's the least of my concerns they're all growing well and doing fine so we're gonna keep it at that she sleeps in the snoo bassinet which i will again do a separate video on but the snoo I just have nothing but amazing things to say about it. It's incredible. She sleeps 10 to 12 hours a night. Lately, we've been struggling with naps. She just doesn't want to leave my side during the day. So we've kind of been struggling with that in terms of me getting anything done. So that's been a little bit of a challenge, but her brothers are very helpful um, and they do try and entertain her. But sometimes she just gets to a point where there's nothing that's going to appease her except for me picking her up. So yeah, that's something that we do struggle with here. Um, she loves her toys. She loves the ceiling fans. She basically likes anything above her. One of her favorite things to do is go in the hammock with her dad or myself. And she just loves to look up at the sky and the trees and she coos and she just loves to be outside. She's definitely a baby that enjoys nature, um, which I love. Um, I already said she grabs for toys. She will actually listen to books. She's my first baby where, I don't know, she genuinely seems interested in books. The boys just never even really like looked at me when I was reading to them. They were just kind of like, you know, whatever. But she's like, she'll stare at my mouth when I'm talking. She loves to look at the pictures and she's very interactive. And it's funny because I don't want to say that it's because she's a girl. I don't know, she seems just more cognitively aware than my boys and I know every baby's different and, but I've had four boys and one girl and I've already noticed that pretty significantly. So she has amazing head support. The pediatrician even said that she was super impressed by her neck strength when we went, especially for a small baby like her. Um, but I must say like her, her petite, frame has not stopped her from doing anything she's just she's just plowing through her milestones and doing amazing she loves tubbies she loves baths and getting her hair washed um, lately we have been battling a little bit of cradle cap but it's nothing like my oldest liam had really bad cradle cap and she has it a little bit but we've been using the derm frida it's like this little it almost looks like a pop socket and i just put shampoo oh you're gonna take my notes you're gonna eat my notes. No? Okay. <laughs> she just uses, it looks like a pop socket. And I just put a little bit of like shampoo on her head. I massage it in and then I use the, it has like little fine silicone bristles and then there's one little part at the end that has like massager nubbies. And so I use that and I kind of really like go over the same area and it helps loosen up any of that dry cradle cap skin. And we've actually, it seems, like it's kind of subsided at this point, but as you can tell, she still definitely has little, very little hair. It's coming in though, on the top. Oh yeah. I don't want you to get pen all over your face since we've clearly just drooled all over my notes. She, I know this is controversial, so I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna talk much on it. I mean, if you guys have a lot of questions about it or our experiences or any tips or anything like that, I will talk about it maybe a little bit in more detail, but I know it's very controversial. We did get her ears pierced, if you can't tell. She did really well, honestly. She, she cried a little bit, but it was virtually the same as her vaccines. I look so orange. <laughs> you can't even see that earring and that earring but we chose to get her ears pierced at this age because one it's she's not consciously grabbing at her ears and the risk of infection is a lot lower and i was able to provide her ear care so i can um basically it's just like saline spray mixed with like salt water it's it's kind of like I think it's called H2 Ocean. It's like water, like salt water, saline, essentially. Um, and you spray it on 
her ears morning and night and then you basically just twist the earring and move it like front to back just so that there's not a lot of like dead skin and gunk build up that could cause infection or make her earrings get stuck. Um, but her earrings have healed really well. At this point, she has had them for like three, I think we're going on her fourth week. So today's Monday. So Friday of this week will be her fourth week that she's had her ears pierced, which seems crazy. My gosh, time just flies. Um, for diapers, so right now for clothing, she still fits in a lot of newborn stuff, um, but I would say that she's pretty consistently zero to three months. A lot like this, this onesie is three months. Um, she's been living in these, by the way. These are the Just One You Carters. They're like little tank top onesies. They're super cute and they're just, I don't know, she doesn't, we're, we're running a no pants party in this house for her. <laughs> it's just extra clothing and stuff to take off when I'm changing her diapers. She is in a size one diaper right now. I try and have her wear her headbands as often as possible, but here's a huge tip which if you're a new girl mom or a girl mom in general, something that nobody ever told me, I would suggest not wearing, putting a bow on your child when they're in the car because she constantly, if we're in the car, will rip her bows down over her face and her mouth and then she like freaks out. So I just take the headband off and it's like something that, she looks super cute in her outfit and I'll put her in the car seat and then I forget to take her headband off and then I very quickly remember that I should have taken that off. But yeah, that's about it for her four month update. If there are any topics or anything that I didn't cover, which probably because I feel like I did this on a whim. Um, I had recorded it before, but I feel like even since then a lot's changed. So I just wanted to give you a very recent update. Plus her brothers are not home. So I'm actually able to film this in one shot. Oh, this is another thing. I think we're early, we're early teethers over here. My boys didn't get teeth until about nine months and she has been just fingers in the mouth, sucking on the fingers for two months now. We still don't see any sign of teeth yet, but this is all day. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for us. I do apologize that it's been so long since I've posted anything. Um, we're just in survival mode at this point between COVID and raising and sort of keeping five children alive. We've also decided to do remote learning this year for school, so we're gonna have to figure out just a schedule for that, which is gonna be crazy and I'm stressed thinking about it, but um, today is officially the first day that my husband is back at work. He had 18 weeks paternity leave. I mean, this isn't really a realistic day because I only have her, which today is like easy mode, but we get the kids back. Um, my parents are taking the boys Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Thursday, we get them back Wednesday night. Uh, Thursday will be the first day that it's really like mom mode on hard, expert level. <laughs> so yes, now with that is really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and want to see more. Um, I am going to try and do more uh, weight loss related videos, but to be honest, there hasn't been a lot of progress in that department. Um, like I said, we're just kind of in survival mode at this point, trying to figure out routines. And um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everybody is well. I hope you are all staying safe and I will see you in the next video. Like I said, if you do have a comment, question, anything, videos you'd like to see, please leave them down below and I will definitely get back to you or try and film whatever you are looking for. So, bye guys.